can start now. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for our virtual college visit series. Um, I'm excited to introduce um, Ms. Ashley Hofer, admissions counselor with Colorado Mesa University. So I'll go ahead and hand it over to her. Awesome. Thanks so much, Carrie. Um, yeah. Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to this. Um, I wish that, you know, we could all be together in person, but I think that this is a really great opportunity for y'all to learn more about colleges um, that are outside of your area, too. So um, I am an admissions counselor with CMU. I graduated from Colorado Mesa in 2018. And I um, am graduating again in May with my master's in business. So if there is anyone who knows about the school and who can share information today, um, that is me. So I promise to tell you all, all the truth and all the facts about CMU. So right now on campus, we have about 11,000 students with us. And these are students that come from all areas of the country, you know, all walks of life. They're from many different states, many different countries, and it really just makes for um, a really welcoming, warm campus community. Grand Junction is about four hours west of Denver and about four hours east of Salt Lake City. Um, so we're the largest city in between those two major areas. Absolutely beautiful there, lots of outdoor recreation, lots of things to do, you know, on and off campus. Um, there's about 150,000 people in the town of Grand Junction. So it's a really good mid-sized school and mid-sized town as well. So because we have 11,000 students on campus, that means our class sizes are, um, are smaller. So that's awesome because it creates a really personalized learning environment. You guys can see the statistics on the screen there. I don't have to read those. Um, but the most important thing that I think I experienced when I was at CMU is the fact that I could, you know, go in to my professor's office hours to get support in their class and also ask them about um, career advice and internships. And they, you know, not only knew who I was, but they were more than happy to help in those scenarios too. So really great environment academically. You know that your professors are actually there for you outside of the, outside of the classroom um, because we don't have any teaching assistants at CMU. So the professor's number one job really is to be there for their students in and out of the classroom, which is great. So these are all of our pro, um, programs and our academic departments at Colorado Mesa. We have over 100 majors on campus, and then we have over 100 minors and areas of concentration as well. So there's lots to choose from. I kind of like to break it down into our top five majors. So top five, you know, in this list are going to be our business department, our Davis School of Business, um, engineering nursing, our criminal justice department, and then kinesiology as well. So kinesiology, I think exercise science, health sciences, stuff kind of in that spectrum. We also have Western Colorado Community College, which is really unique. That is our um, community college division that is home to all of our trade programs, our technical programs. So if students are interested in, in pursuing one of those, they can go to WCCC, they can still live on CMU's campus and um, have the opportunity to kind of have the best of both worlds in those scenarios. So no matter what program a student is interested in, um, you know that there are going to be really great opportunities within that program while the student is at CMU and um, it's definitely not one of those universities that you're there for, you know, four plus years and you graduate and we just kind of kick you out the door and say, bye, have fun. Um, we really pride ourselves on setting our students up for success from day one in their classes. 
So the picture in the upper right hand corner there, or I'm sorry, the upper left hand corner is our forensic investigation research station. That really is just a fancy term for what we call a body farm at CMU. Um, we're one of five universities in the country that have a body farm. And this is available for all of our forensic students to have access to, which is great. The picture in the upper right hand corner is our brand new Hotel Maverick. So this is an on campus teaching hotel. Um, our hospitality management students will do internships there. Our culinary arts students will do internships in the restaurant that you see there. So that's a really great thing happening. And then um, health science students will have access to all of our simulation labs, our Montfort Human Performance Lab, and so many other um, great resources that are there in the community for our nursing and our, our health science students as well. So lots of lots of things going on. I could spend a whole presentation talking about all of the opportunities for our academic departments for sure. But that just gives you all a picture of, of what's happening there. A little bit more about Grand Junction. Um, since I assume that you know those of you watching this probably have not been to Grand Junction specifically. Maybe you've been to Colorado before. Um, we love our, our sunshine and our outdoor recreation there. So um, if, it may, if it ends in ING, um, we probably have it. So kayaking, rafting, hiking, climbing, biking. Um, the only thing we don't have is surfing because we're in Colorado, um, but we do have a water sports park that is about 45 minutes away. So um, if you want to take your kayaks and your paddle boards down there, you can definitely access that on the Colorado River. Like I said, it's, you know, very sunny there. There's great weather, lots of hiking trails. We're home to the Colorado National Monument. Um, so that's a really, really great um, site to go see when you're on campus. If you guys come visit, definitely check that out. And our outdoor program is available to take all of our students out on, um, on day, tri day trips, on weekend trips. So students can actually, you know, go explore and go um, adventure in their new home away from home. All right. So I know we get questions a lot of the time on our um, student life. And I think that this is definitely an area of importance. I know that. Um, you know, as a student, you want to make sure that the community you're coming into is going to be a good fit for you. So we do require our freshmen and our sophomores to live on our campus at CMU. We have about 13 different residence halls and we have about 2,500 students living on our campus. So that kind of gives you a, a picture of who is all there. These residence halls really are everything from the traditional style dorms to the suite style dorms and, and everything in between and most of them have either been built or renovated in the past decade which is awesome. If you're interested in clubs and organizations we have hundreds of those um, thousands of student run events every year. I know I talked about our outdoor program um, a, a little bit ago on the last slide. We also have our study abroad program, which is an amazing opportunity for students to go study abroad in one of 52 different countries and still pay the same um, cost of attendance that they would at CMU. The only additional cost in there would be the plane ticket to and from wherever you're going. So I think our outdoor program and our study abroad program are definitely two of the most popular um, organizations that we have on our campus. We also have our Associated Student Government and then um, our Programming Activities Council that puts on all of these events. Um, we do have our Cultural Inclusion Council and our various um, cultural inclusion committees on campus. Um, we have our different student alliances on campus as well. So really, you know, depending on what, what you're interested in, I know that Every single college presentation you hear, um, someone will say, you know, if you're interested in it, we have it. And if you're not interested in it, then you can start your own club. And 
um, that stuff is, is true at CMU too. We do have our, um, our athletic teams as well. So we are an NCAA Division II school for athletics. We have about 700 student athletes on campus in those teams. And we also have our club sports as well. So you're still looking for something that's competitive, but you don't want the full-time commitment of being a varsity athlete. You can check out club sports. We have our intramural sport leagues as well. And those are um, you know, not super competitive. They're just kind of fun to get out of class and get out of your dorm room and, um, and go take advantage of those. We have our um, dance team, our marching band, the color guard. So lots of, you know, lots of opportunities depending on what you're interested in. All right, so we talked a lot about what's available on campus in terms of classes and fun things to do outside of class. And that is great, but um, college is a, a big transition. And I think that it's totally normal to be a little bit nervous about this time. If you're a senior watching this right now and you're trying to wrap up those decisions, or if you're a junior watching this, just kind of preparing for your senior year, just know that it's okay to feel a little bit unsure of the whole process. So at CMU, we really have a department for support for everything, whether it's your faculty advisor for academic support, um, our free tutoring center for help outside of your classes, if you're a junior or senior and you are looking for career advice and you want to do a mock interview or work on your resume, you can go to career services. Um, we have our student wellness center available for students um, who get sick on campus or need to see a doctor or go get an x-ray, whatever it may be. Everybody has access to that for a $15 copay, regardless of insurance. And then we also offer counseling services for all of our students for a $5 copay. Um, so that's kind of, you know, the holistic overview of the support systems we have on campus. Obviously, when a student is at CMU, they will develop their own community um, in their classes, in their dorms, with friends and, and you know, family back home too. But we really want everyone to know that they're supported on campus as well. All right, so we'll talk a little bit about tuition and, and cost of attendance. I know when I was going through this process, that was something I had a huge question about. It was you know, if not the number one determining factor, probably number two determining factor in college choice. So CMU, we have the third lowest tuition and fees in the state of Colorado. Obviously we award students financial aid and scholarships, but what is that, you know, what does that actually mean? So this table will show um, our specific tuition rates for, um, different students, you know, where we're at in the country. So our Maroon states qualify for the Western Undergraduate Program, Western Undergraduate Exchange Program. And then our Blue states qualify for the Mountains and Plains Tuition Program. Um, and then our Gray states are considered out-of-state students. But I will tell you um, that Students who are in those gray states, you know, maybe you, um, maybe you just moved and you have a residency somewhere else or whatever it may be. Um, I like to talk about this holistically. If you don't qualify for one of those programs, but you have a GPA of a 2.5, I recommend that you appeal for the tuition discount program. So just gonna throw that out there right now. You know, we do see a lot of students appeal for those programs and um, be awarded that discounted tuition because you can pay, um, you know, thirteen thousand a year for tuition as opposed to twenty-two thousand per year without really doing a whole lot. I would definitely take advantage of that. So these are our, um, you know, the the breakdown of the total cost of attendance at CMU. Obviously, that includes residence halls, meal plans, student fees. 
The only thing this won't include is your travel to and from campus. So keep that in mind as you're looking at those. All of our merit scholarships that we offer are listed here. So we look at two out of two out of the three of the criteria for our merit scholarships. So test scores and GPA and class rank, we take the, the top two there. This year with CMU being test optional, and you know, I know that a lot of my students out east have not had the chance to take the ACT or the SAT. And so um, we've created an, an appeal process for these scholarships. So say you meet the um, GPA requirement for one of the scholarships, but you haven't taken a test and your high school doesn't do class rank, um, reach out to me. I'll put my contact information at the end here and we can go through that appeal process a little bit more. If you're a junior watching this in um, March of 2021 right now, um, we will most likely be test optional for the upcoming year too, and we'll probably still have the same system in place. So just throwing that out there. We also offer scholarships for first generation students. If you know neither of your parents have graduated from a four year university, then that is you. You are considered a first generation student at CMU. If your parents have graduated from CMU, um, you would be able to receive the legacy scholarship. I have one of um, one of our legacy students coming this year um, from West Virginia. So that's exciting. And then also we offer um, departmental scholarships based on academic programs. We help them in the business department in performing arts as well. Um, of course, we participate in FAFSA, um, free application for federal student aid, and we also offer payment plans for our students. So there are lots of opportunities out there without, you know, getting into the weeds too much. If you are interested in attending CMU and you have questions and concerns about costs or parents have questions and concerns about that too, um, totally get it. I completely understand and feel free to reach out and, and we can talk a little bit more about those opportunities. All right, so CMU is on rolling admissions. So if you are a senior and you decide that you want to come to Colorado in the fall, you can still apply on our website, um, just coloradomesa.edu slash apply. Like you said, we're test optional this year. So all that we need are official high school transcripts and test scores. If you have, um, or I'm sorry, our, our official high school transcripts, the test scores are optional. I'm so used to saying that we need test scores too. Um, if you have test scores, definitely send them in. If you want to complete an essay and a letter of recommendation, um, feel free to send those in. Those are both optional too. I usually recommend that uh, students who have under a 3.0 to go ahead and submit the essay and the letter of recommendation. And then you can use the promo code that you see at the bottom of your screen there, the one that says hashtag new Mavs, that will waive the application fee. So you don't have to pay um, $30 for an application to a college, definitely don't do that. You are a high school junior watching this right now, just know that our application for fall of 2022 will open on August 1st this year. Um, we are going to be on the common application in the fall, so that's very exciting for us. Um, so you won't have to apply on our website anymore. You can just send your application into us through the common app. Definitely feel free to reach out along the way. Um, I'm going to right now put my well all of all of your counselors have my contact information. Um, I'll put my email in the chat for them in, in case they um, don't have it or something like that. But my email is, um, I'll, I'll just list it out here, you know, slowly. So if you're watching this, you can write it down. It's A-R-H-O-E-F-E-R. -E -E so A-R-Hofer at Colorado Mesa. 
www.arhoe.edu. So A-R-H-O-E-S-E-R at coloradomesa.edu. Um, feel free to send me an email if you guys have any more questions. Um, I'd love to, to chat, you know, whether you're a, a senior or a junior or a sophomore, you know, whoever it is, definitely let me know what comes up along the way. Um, thank you guys so much for hopping on and, and tuning in today. And um, thank you to all of the, the counseling team for having me today. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, this was a lot of great information. Um, it seems like you all have a lot to offer in, in such a beautiful place. And um, thank you for leaving your contact in the chat there. So um, students, if you did have any questions, um, feel free to send her an email. But thank you and we'll be in touch. Okay, awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you, Ashley. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.